Hi guys, my name is Chelsea and in today's video we are going to be doing a living room makeover. Now I've wanted to give my space a makeover since the end of last year, but I needed some time to figure out what did I really want in the space and also to collect things for the space. I'm not a person who is going to run out and just buy, buy, buy to get a space done. I like to do thrifting to see what pieces I can find as well as just shopping my home to see what I already have that might be able to work in my space. Now my living room is longer than it is wider which can sometimes present a little bit of a design challenge but the bigger challenge to me is one whole side of the room has really very minimal usable wall space. It's mostly entry and exit points to the stairwells, the kitchen, a bathroom, the entryway. So that space over there really has to stay very clear so that it doesn't disrupt the walking path of the room. All right, so I think that is it for now. So let's go ahead and get this makeover started. In my last living room makeover, our couch was down by the windows, which I liked in a lot of ways, but we've been living with this kind of new oriented layout for a few weeks now, and I've really liked the couch in a more central location in the room. This also allowed to create this little desk corner for me so that I did not have to go upstairs if I wanted to do some work. All right, I looked for accent chairs for so long. These are actually from Walmart and I got both of them for under $300 and that includes taxes, shipping, all that stuff. I think these chairs are gorgeous. I've had them for over a month now, which is why there's some kitty hair on them that I have to lint roll off, but I love them. They're a great price and we really needed the extra seating in this room. Here I'm just adding in some accent pieces. This end table set is a pair that I got off Facebook Marketplace for about $20. And this lamp was a piece that you would have seen in one of my thrifting videos. All right guys, we are starting off bright and early today because we have got projects to do. I am standing in front of a small wall that is probably going to be a focal wall now. It is directly across from the seating area and the coffee table. I have been loving the images that I've been seeing with textured walls, but textured walls are a commitment a commitment because if you decide that you don't like it or you just want to do something else if you have physical texture on your wall you have to sand that wall down to get back to a smooth surface and your girl is not doing that we're not doing that so we are going to go on a little bit of a diy journey to see if i can achieve the look of almost like a roman clay wall but with just paint and the great thing about it is if we get to the end and i don't like it or if i do like it but at some point i change my mind all I've got to do is just prime over it, paint, and it's back to normal. We are not adding any physical texture to this wall. These are the only supplies that I need for this, and I actually did not end up even needing the tray. To create variants in color, I'm just dipping my brush into both paint samples and kind of doing a crisscross motion. Guys, what do we think? I don't know. Like, I, I, I don't know. We're, we're gonna keep going just to see, but I don't know. All right, guys, it is done. And I think I revised my opinion. I really wasn't sure about it during the painting, but now that I'm kind of standing back, I think it looks pretty good. I'll be curious how it dries down as we get there, but yeah, I think it actually looks pretty cool. Let's see if we can kind of get a little closer here so you can see the texture better. And again, this is, I guess, like a visual texture. I don't know if that's a thing, but there is no physical texture on the wall. But I feel like it looks, yeah, pretty good. So we'll go ahead and let this dry. All right, so our next project while the paint dries is going to be framing out this doorway. It's one of the details that I think will be 
something small but makes a big impact. It just bugs me that it's not finished. It looks like someone just cut out of the drywall and said, all right, it's done. So we're gonna go ahead and frame this out. I do have an assistant, which is my dad. He's here to help me with the project. So it should go a little bit faster than if it were just me doing it. Huh? All right, so this is about two and a quarter and we want to do a one eighth reveal around the frame. So we have to mark our one eighth mark on the wall. Always make sure you measure twice, guys. This is our line and our corrected line for what needs to come off. Taking off this small piece is what is going to allow us to put the new casing around the door frame. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this mostly turned into me kind of being my dad's assistant during this project. He very kindly did a lot of the kind of harder work for me, which was very nice of him. I love doing projects with my dad. I've learned so much from him kind of over the years and I just really enjoy this time together. Okay. All right, we got the door framed. We got that last piece up and it just makes such a difference. It's hard to tell right now. The lighting's not great, but it makes such a difference. And then I brought this cabinet in, so I'm gonna get that into place over here and then maybe we'll do some styling. All right, we're gonna work on styling this cabinet behind me. This was a thrifted piece that my dad actually helped me pick up. This has been here for a couple weeks now, but I'm really excited to finally do some styling work on it. Also, this, this hair is going downhill, but that's okay. Full stop, can't believe I live in Such a wonderful delight Forgo Give up everything that I own Yeah, I'd give it all up now Just to be with you somehow Unexpected love was found Hi guys, I'm not sure where we left off yet, but this wall came out so good. I really hope it comes up on camera the way that it looks in person. It's really subtle. It just adds a little something to make it more interesting. So I started moving the faux fireplace back into its spot, but now that the wall is fully dry, we can get it back into position and we'll start to style that area. Now the plan for this wall is to mount the TV on it at some point. Our TV stopped working though, so I think we may need to buy a new one. That is not happening in this video, so I thought I would just go ahead and style the space without a TV there. All right guys, I am standing in front of the couch and there is this huge white wall over it. I have racked my brain for probably the last like two months about what I really wanted to do over my couch. I loved my gallery wall. I love having my art kind of in one place, but I had it before, I did it last year about this time, so I felt like I just wanted to try something new. So I decided to go with two large scale art pieces. I'm gonna work on getting them hung up here, but I just wanted to put a quick disclaimer in here. Art is a very personal choice, and honestly, that goes for really anything you bring into your home. You might really not like these pieces and would never choose these for your home, and that's totally okay, but I just wanted to put that click quick disclaimer out there. 
anything you bring into your home is incredibly personal and that is especially true for art. So let's go and get these pieces hung up. Now I did end up hanging these pieces a little bit further apart before the reveal. I just felt like they were too close together. These two pieces depict essentially the same woman in the same scene, just aged over time. All right, we've got the fireplace style, we have art hung up. We have to deal with this whole situation behind the camera, which is my desk area over there, the buffet over here. It is currently covered in decor. And we just have to get started styling. I'm a little behind schedule to be honest here, so we've just gotta get this stuff done, so let's start styling. I love having my desk by the window. I love to open the windows in the springtime and it just lets in a natural breeze and I can hear the birds and it's just such a peaceful spot for me to work in. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day and I'm still so amazed. By you. So hold me tight through the night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just as two. really in the home stretch of styling here. I just have these accent tables, the coffee table, and maybe a few finishing touches, and that should be about it. All right, you guys, I think we're done. At least for now, my home will always be an ever-changing space, but I think for now, we are done with the living room. I am really, really happy with the way it turned out. It's bright, but kind of moody, and I just feel like it really fits what I was looking for. Let's take a look back at the chaotic before of what the space was. Just kind of plain, a longer than wider room, furniture all over the place, decor all over the place, and just wasn't fitting what I had hoped for. So I hope you liked the way that it turned out. Leave me a comment and let me know. But besides that, let's go ahead and reveal the space in three, two, one. guys that is it for today's video i really hoped you liked the way it came out and enjoyed this journey of transforming my space make sure to leave me a comment and let me know what you think 
If you liked this video, you can go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would like to see more from me, you can subscribe to my channel. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you take care of yourself until then. Bye guys.